Well, hey, how are you doing? Listen, um, if the stores can get out the Christmas stuff this early, so can I. I've got my peppermint pinwheel coffee here, which was a holiday coffee last year with Nespresso. I'm gonna get that going. And I've got some Jordan Skinny Syrups Peppermint Bark. So let's just watch this coffee going for a minute here. And then I am gonna make some peppermint foam to go on the top. Okay, so that's going good. Now, last week I had cashew milk, but that stuff just wouldn't foam up. So, oh, let me put some more light on here. So now I'm back with my almond coconut milk. Here's my peppermint bark syrup. And my froth are here. So the coffee's going. And the frother's going. I hope this is going to froth up. It looks like it's going to. Here's my orchid, by the way. Putting out a new leaf. Some new roots. I love looking at how this thing is put together. Well, anyhow, okay, we're frothing. The coffee is done. I'm going to go ahead and give it a stir up to mix in some of that crema, which is the coffee oils that got whipped up with air and formed a foam. Let me give that a taste. Mmm, minty. Okay, and back over here. Oh yeah, that's foaming up. I was gonna say, when this starts flashing, it's done. So it is done. Oh, look at that. Wow. So there's gonna be some let me move this away from things a little bit. There we go. All right. Oh my gosh. So this is going to be a nice, sweet, pepperminty, creamy foam on top. I'll spoon some of the rest of it on here. This is part of the fun and creativity of coffee. Of course, the best part is this part. This is good. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Merry Christmas. So I know that um, y'all who have been following me, um, well, you know that I had been cutting out coffee and then cutting back on the coffee because um, of some reflux problems. But 
turned out the coffee was not really aggravating them very much, so I've just cut back to one cup a day instead of two. And it seems to be workable, and things also seem to be resolving. I hope they continue to resolve. The doctor said, let's wait and see. Since things were on a, you know, starting to get better. And um, if they don't get better, if they get worse, then we'll revisit it. Oh. It's like the best peppermint stick because it's just the right, of, right amount of mint and just the right amount of sweet. You know, honestly and truly, sometimes doing something that you choose that's fun, first thing in the day or first chance you get in the day can really help you to have a happier day. And is this real significant in my day? Not real significant, you know? Um, but it's significant in that it makes me happy. I enjoy it. And sometimes so many things happen during our days that we cannot control. <coughs> and to have something that we can control, that makes us happy. Do those things. I mean, why not? It'll give you a better day. It will, you know how they say if you exercise in the morning, it raises your metabolism so that you're not only burning calories while you're exercising, but you're burning more throughout the day. Well, if you do something that makes you happy, that you enjoy first thing in the morning or as soon as you can after you wake up, that kind of not only makes you happy in the moment, but it goes into the day and it affects the other things that you do. So give it a try. Think of something. You know, it may be as simple as, you know, putting on lipstick in the morning. Or, like for me, going and watching my bird feeders first thing in the morning is something that makes me happy. I don't know. Everybody has different things that make them happy. Uh, maybe it's doing a little inspirational reading or praying or, mm, I don't know, I could think of so many things, but do something for you, a little bit of self-care to help yourself have a more positive outlook will serve you well for the rest of your day. I'm going to work on my positive outlook here. I'll talk to you later.